What's the fastest mode of transportation in existence? Air travel, right? Wrong. Not even close. It travels 200 miles per hour faster than a Boeing 747 and three times quicker than a Bugatti Veyron. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hyperloop. When complete, this ultra-futuristic piece of technology will cut travel time between Dubai and Abu Dhabi to 12 minutes. Make no mistake, the Hyperloop is about to redefine the way we transit between cities. Our commuter world is about to be revolutionized, so strap yourselves in as we give you the entire lowdown. It's record-breaking, it's painfully expensive, and it's a technology that looks like it was zapped straight out of the Jetsons. But what exactly is this revolutionary Hyperloop? What's all this fuss about? The Hyperloop concept made its debut at the Dubai International Motor Show in 2019. And ever since that day, it's been a focal point in construction and innovation, not only in the UAE, but around the globe. Dubai and Abu Dhabi are already world leaders in the architectural innovation sector, and this piece of new transport technology solidifies that reputation tenfold. The Hyperloop is a train, but not like any train you've seen before. As a new form of ground transportation, the Hyperloop aims to be the benchmark driver-free transit of the next generation. Carrying either passengers or freight, its carriages or pods transit from origin to destination in record time. Currently, a trip between Dubai and Abu Dhabi takes about 90 minutes. On board the Hyperloop, that time is slashed to just 12 minutes. Need we say more? The technology is in development by a number of companies, but Richard Branson's Virgin Hyperloop One is one of the big brands now leading the race. The Virgin Hyperloop One system in Dubai promises to be 100% electric, using magnetic levitation to glide the capsules through the giant low-pressure tubing network, either above or below ground. Think of the pod or capsule like a plastic puck on an air hockey table. That's the premise of the Hyperloop mechanics in a nutshell. Hyperloop could see passengers traveling at over 700 miles an hour within floating, modern, and ultra-luxurious pods. You would think that jet airline-like speeds would create jet engine-like noise, but that couldn't be further from reality. Not only is it lightning fast, but it's also quiet. With the noise levels inside the pods advertised as significantly lower than traditional forms of transportation. Fast, relaxing, and luxurious? Damn, sign us up. Over 10,000 travelers can fit on the system every hour, with a resizable fleet of pods ready to increase or decrease depending on the demand. It's environmentally friendly, it's technologically revolutionary, it's ambitious, and it just might work. Sounds like something with Elon Musk written all over it, wouldn't you say? Well, there's a good reason for that. Turns out that the original idea for the Hyperloop came from none other than the Tesla founder himself. Elon Musk first described his idea for a futuristic transportation system that would send passenger pods through tubes at speeds of hundreds of miles an hour back in 2013. Back then, the notion seemed insane, to say the least. When you're the fifth richest person on the planet with an estimated net worth of $74.2 billion as of July 2020, you can afford to try out a few outlandish ideas. His comically named startup called <clears throat> Boring Company has proposed plans to dig a Hyperloop tunnel in the USA that would allow rapid transit between Washington, D.C. and New York City, taking just half an hour. As it stands, that's a three-hour Amtrak ride. In Dubai, however, it's not Musk leading the charge, it's Sir $4.8 billion Richard Branson with Virgin Hyperloop One. The Hyperloop concept was explicitly open-sourced by Musk, with Virgin and a number of other companies encouraged to take the ideas and further develop them. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, Canadian company Transpod, Indian engineering company DGWH Hyperloop, among others, are also throwing their hats into the ring, each at various stages of project development. Abu Dhabi-based company Aldar signed a deal to start working on the 150-kilometer project between Dubai and Abu Dhabi in 2018, with a release date for the first section set for later in 2020. Regardless of who's leading the charge in which area, the companies, particularly Virgin Hyperloop One, operate with a purpose to benefit the community. Envisioners are confident that Hyperloop will take the pressure off gridlocked roads, making travel between cities easier and potentially unlocking major economic benefits as a result. If we take a step back, Dubai and Abu Dhabi are both being developed as smart cities, with each rapidly expanding metropolis aiming to reduce their carbon emissions by a whopping 75% by 2023. In the words of Hyperloop One's Marsha Kristoff, this transit system is simply the logical next step toward that reduced emissions goal. 
Compared to traditional trains, you know, those that run on wheels and rails, ugh, so 2019, the Hyperloop is promised to travel two to three times faster on average from one destination to another, capable of considerably higher multiples if operating at its zippy top speed. This is largely due to the fact that the tubes or tunnels have deliberately been drained of their inner air, minimizing air friction and drag, and ultimately allowing pods to whoosh through at up to 750 miles per hour. The pods, of course, would carry their own air supply. Sure, this system will slice travel times in half and reduce pollution and traffic congestion on the roads, but there's another benefit which can't be ignored. Residents of the UAE will now be able to access job opportunities that were previously considered impossible. Hyperloop could provide exceptional economic progress, which is one of the main reasons why Dubai and its neighbors are so excited about it. The entire gulf could become unified, expanding business networks to new heights. The Dubai Hyperloop is poised to be the very first commercial track of its kind, a true game changer. With a reputation as such, you'd expect it to cost tens of billions of dollars to build, and certainly astronomically more expensive than traditional rail systems. Surprise, surprise, that's not even close to true. Hyperloop could be cheaper to build than traditional high-speed rail. Estimates put it between 20 and 40 million dollars per kilometer, accumulating to 6 billion dollars, or 22 billion dirhams, for the entire project based on recent estimates. However, Bebop Gresta, chairman of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, the company that's pioneering the Abu Dhabi sector, has stated that any money put into the mega project can be recouped in 8 to 15 years from ticket sales. So ultimately, it's an investment. Does that mean that average commuters like us will be forced to hand over our entire wallets for a simple one-way ticket to help the developers recoup their building expenses? Fortunately, apparently not. While the exact numbers haven't been revealed just yet, it's widely anticipated that Hyperloop fares will be very affordable, likely even cheaper than both train travel and air travel. At the moment, getting from Beijing to Shanghai on the high-speed railway costs upwards of 555 yuan, or $80. Tickets from London to Paris on the Eurostar start at 52 euro, or $60, one way for a standard class seat. So, assuming you don't opt for the Hyperloop's gold class section, which is packed to the rafters with luxury, we can expect prices to be competitive, if not far cheaper than its international competitors. The UAE, and more specifically the great city of Dubai, is chock full of construction marvels, futuristic designs, and world-famous attractions. Not to mention cloud-touching skyscrapers. Money has been thrown in every direction in order to turn these desert sands into a global powerhouse. So it's not hard to understand how the nickname of the City of Gold has come to fruition. After all, there are literally ATMs which disperse solid bricks of the stuff. The soon-to-be-completed Hyperloop is just the next link in the chain of eye-catching landmarks. Hundreds of amazing feats of engineering have come before it. So what do you say? Shall we take a second to check out some of Dubai's other billion-dollar megaprojects? Towering over the city, peaking at an incomprehensible 2,717 feet tall, the Burj Khalifa is the tallest tower in the world. It features 160 floors, some of which offer $7 million penthouses that you can actually live in. With an observation deck on the 124th floor, the views from this skyscraper truly are unbeatable. It's more than double the size of the Empire State Building and cost $1.5 billion to construct. At the peak of construction, more than 12,000 workers from all all over the globe were on site every day, accumulating a total of 22 million man-hours between them over six years. Crazy, right? We know what you're thinking. Yeah, it's tall, but it lacks a certain element of spin. If you want to face the sunrise in the morning and the sunset at night, then Dubai has the answer. Almost completed is the world's first rotating skyscraper, the 80-story, 1,378-foot-tall Dynamic Tower, known as the Dynamic Tower Hotel or the Da Vinci Tower. It's been a long time waiting for this architectural piece of art, and it won't be cheap either, with a final bill of $1.2 billion. Perhaps what's most amazing, besides the ability to physically swivel your apartment at the touch of a button is that it's a prefabricated skyscraper. What that means is that every rotating floor is built in a factory and then shipped to the construction site to be attached to the central cylinder. It saves months of construction compared to typical skyscrapers. Could this be the future of skyscraper construction? We'll have to wait and see. Leave it to Dubai to revolutionize another industry. They've already revolutionized the hotel sector with the world's first seven-star hotel. 
The Burj Al Arab is one of Dubai's most famous symbols of extravagance, despite being built over two decades ago in 1999. And we don't use the word extravagance lightly. The outrageously lavish royal suite will set you back a whopping $24,000 per night. Don't worry, of course you'll have access to 24 karat gold iPads. Clearly this city is focused on the future, and if you needed any more proof of that, then here it is. The Museum of the Future. On the outside, this unique structure is shaped like an eye, which is deliberately related to the concepts of perception and knowledge. On the inside, it showcases the wonders of AI, machine learning, and robots. With a projected cost of 499 million dirhams, about 135 million American dollars, this Dubai landmark will soon be one of the most expensive museums ever made. The museum initiative was put forth by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who has ruled Dubai since 2000. He rocks a net fortune estimated to be $18 billion, so who knows what he's got in store for us next. Have you ever been to Dubai? If not, is it on the bucket list? And what's your take on the Hyperloop? Would you travel on it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for checking out The Richest. See you next time and have a great day.